we're going to cover the basics quickly so that we can move on to the complex topics in a step-by-step -step manner. Now, before I talk about headings in this session, I want you to understand this. The purpose of HTML5 document is to produce the content, not the presentation. How the content would be presented is a topic of cascading style sheets in HTML5. Okay, so whatever text or elements we'll be using in this file, the purpose is to produce the content. Now with that in mind, let's move forward and let's talk about the headings. If I did not mention this earlier, in most of the context, spacing is not really important. I can give five lines here, no line here, as long as these two are different uh, elements either not separated by any space or by one line or by one space that is totally fine to the browser. So keep that in mind. Now let's talk about the H1, H2, H3 and so on tags. What do they mean? So I just added this section here that you can see on the screen. This is the opening H1 tag and then we have some text and then closing H1 tag and then we have H2, H3, H4, H5. If I save the work and go to the browser and do a control R, you can see that the text I place in H1 is the biggest and then the size keep on reducing until I go to H6. So H1 is a level 1 heading which represents the importance of the text. The highest importance is H1 and then you can have multiple subheadings and so on. So let's say your master document or web page is about HTML tutorial and then within HTML tutorial you're talking about validation of HTML, history of HTML and so on. So that will become your heading 2 and within validation you're talking about let's say uh, things to watch uh, that will be your heading 3 and so on and just like how you write a book again keep in mind how to present heading is covered under the topic of cascading style sheet the presentation is kept separate and the content is kept separate so we attach cascading style sheet to this document and that will dictate how heading 1 will appear, how heading 2 will appear. By default, web page will produce heading as heading uh, 1 as the biggest and heading 2 as smaller and so on. So we are running this page without cascading style sheet attached to it. That's why by default this is what browser is producing and there is no logic we have placed in the cascading style sheet currently otherwise you can actually control the color the font the placement and you name it and cascading style sheet has it okay so keep that in mind this is content only this is not the presentation and h1 is representing the most important uh, heading and uh, H2 is relatively less important heading and so on. So in other words subheadings. So just to give you a little more realistic example, let's say here is my meat of the HTML document. I'm producing a document that is HTML5 tutorial so my title should be HTML5 tutorial as well. Title will appear on the top of the browser okay you're gonna see it here title and some browsers will display here some will display here and so on you can't really control that it's up to the browser's implementation and then my main heading is HTML5 tutorial title is HTML5 tutorial as well subheading is history then I'll have one or two paragraph about history then another subheading element few things about element subheading attribute and so on. So this is how you structure your document. So I can save the work and do a control R here.